mom one day is just like, pack up our stuff, we're leaving. And you know, we're kids, so pack up our stuff and we leave to Florida. Come to find out my mom found out my dad was like big time selling drugs and kept it from my mom. They deported him back to Jamaica when I was nine and that was the last time I seen him. Really like just one bad mistake, you know, put him at the bottom. And I mean, even more than just being dirt poor in Jamaica, but yo, you, like you missed out on raising a son. It's hard for me to get mad because I know we all make stupid choices. You know what I mean? And it's just unfortunate that his choice led him, you know, in the situation that it did. My dad's absence became the biggest impact on my life and eventually led me to seek Jesus for my identity. You know, as a young man growing up, not even a young man, but as a boy growing up, you look to your dad as your first inspiration, as your first hero, as someone who you learn from and you want to, you know, be like when you grow up. And so, like, I missed that, never had that, going through life, trying to figure things out on my own. At the age of 18, 19, I looked in the mirror and I was like, yo, who am I? What am I here for? What is my identity? And I didn't grow up in church. So, like, I looked at ball players and musicians on the TV, like, yo, I want to be like that, I want to do that. I walk into this hip-hop church, man, and, and things became full circle. This is truth. In the midst of every imperfect person that I know in my life, there's one perfect source that's stronger than myself.